Hello guys and welcome to Jam Chemistry class. And of course, in this class, I'm going to be looking at the quantum numbers. The quantum numbers. All right. Now, uh, there are four quantum numbers that Nilbor used to explain the results of his experiments. Four quantum numbers. And the first one is the principal quantum number. The principal quantum number, then number two, the azimuthal or the subsidiary subsidiary quantum number, then three, the magnetic or the third quantum number then number four is the spin quantum number so these are the four quantum numbers to which what Neil Bohr used to explain the result of what of his what of his experiment all right now for the purpose of this class we are going to look at the principal quantum number alone and the next class will take the next one uh, accordingly so let's look at the principal quantum number principal quantum number the principal quantum number quantum number all right so do not forget that this video tutorial of course is brought to you by the otl school jump cbt app it is the best cbt app available out there and it is all you need to pass your exam in flying colors it asks all the past questions for all the subjects right so then once you activate the app you have access to not only your subject but all other subjects all other subjects will become activated for you that means you can use the app your friends can use the app your relatives can use the app with you also that is one advantage on the one side then number two uh it has all the recent past questions all the recent past questions they are looking for so you don't need to go out there to get past questions uh, up and down looking for latest past question the app has all of it and of course another third advantage is that it has what uh, UTME challenge con being conducted for all students writing jam. So you have opportunity to want to take mock exam for yourself and then take another one that all other jam by writing that exam, writing jam exam this year uh, partake in. So you partake in it, you see your score, you see your, your results, you see your weaknesses, you work on them, you see your strengths and know how to work, work on your weaknesses and so on and so forth. So it is the best deal that you can ask for. Right? So do not forget. Activating the app is just 2,500 Naira. Once you activate the app, it's one time. The app remains activated for your, on your phone forever. You do not pay every month. It's not every month. Once you activate, it remains activated. Please do not forget to download. It has been displayed under this video right now. Go to Play Store, download the app, activate it, and start practicing what today. The mock exams, there are up to like 20 mock exams before your main jam exam. So you will you'll be able to, to know your weaknesses and your strengths. All right, so let's look at principal quantum numbers. Now, the principal quantum number, uh, it's abbreviated with letter N. Letter N. Uh, call, some of you call it letter N, right? It is abbreviated with the letter what? Letter N. And what does it do? The principal quantum number gives the information of the shell to which an element belongs. So if you want to know the shell to which an element belongs, of course, the principal quantum number will be very, very important in that word, in that regard. Generally, generally, the K, L, M, N, and O shells correspond to what? 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 fourth, uh, quantum numbers. The K, L, M, N, and O share correspond to 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 principal quantum numbers. In other words, it means that what? N is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. For what? For K, L, M, N, O, and so on. Right? That means when N is 1, it means that what it resides in the K shell. When N is 2, it resides in the L shell. When N is 3, it resides in the M shell. When uh, uh, N is 4, it resides in the N shell. And when 
uh, uh, n is 5, it resides in the what? In the O shell. So, for example, if I told that the principal quantum number of an electron is 2, is 2. We are told that the principal quantum number of an element is what is 2. What does it tell you? It means that what it resides in your what? In the L shell. Right? It's as simple as ABC. Now, another thing you need to know is that the least possible value for the principal quantum number is 1. This is the least possible value that the principal quantum number can have. 1 is the least value. Other values could be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on and so forth. But the least value that the principal quantum number can have is what? Is 1. Please get that and get it very right. Now, let's go on. The principal quantum number is also useful in writing SPDF electronic configuration. SPDF electronic configuration. Right? So, the principal quantum number is very important. It's very useful in writing what the SPDF what, the electronic what, configuration. For example, if the electronic configuration of a sodium atom, sodium is what? Na, mass number 23, atomic number 11. Right? And for a neutral atom, for a neutral atom, we have said severally that, what, that the number of protons, number of protons is called what? Number of what of electrons that is np np is equal to what n e right because it is what it's a neutral atom it's a neutral what sodium atom so at the electronic configuration for a neutral sodium atom we have how many electrons 11 electrons so if the electronic configuration is 1 s2 right 2 s2 right 2 p6 right and 3 s1 Right now, this one, two, three, this number that are underlined here correspond to the what to the principal quantum numbers. It means that what that the first two electrons, the first two electrons here, I S2, the first two electrons belong to what? To which shell? They belong to the K shell. Isn't it? The first two electrons, I S2, belong to the what to the K shell. Now, because one corresponds to principal quantum number. Uh, uh, one is uh, principal quantum number one correspond to the K shell, right? That is why one is what uh, the first two electrons here, IS2, this one corresponds, uh, belongs to what to the K shell. The next eight electrons, that is 2P, uh, 2S2 and 2P6, correspond or belong to the what to the L shell, isn't it? Because you can see here, uh, this is what principal, this is principal uh, quantum number two. 2 and 2, they belong to the what? To the L shell. Why? The last electron, 3S1, it belongs to the what? To the M shell, isn't it? You can see this principal quantum number, what? This is what principal quantum number 3. Principal quantum number 3 belongs to the what? To the M shell. So you have to understand it perfectly well. So that's why we say that it is useful in writing SPDF electronic configuration. And of course, and that you need to know is that that the largest principal quantum number, right? The largest principal quantum number uh, correspond to the what? To where the last electron belongs. The last electron or the outermost electron, right? The principal, the largest principal quantum. This is the largest principal quantum number here, right? And it corresponds or it indicates the what? The the position of what of the outermost electron or the shell. It gives information of the shell. To which the outermost electron belongs to. The outermost electron is in the what? It's in the 3s1 what? Uh, this what? Uh, in the uh, what quantum number? M shell, right? And uh, quantum number 3, right? So it gives information of what? Of the shell to which the outermost electron what belongs to. This means that, what, that the outermost electron or the last electron is in the what? It's in the M shell. For example, if I told that what? That an, uh, an atom. Uh, uh, um, has what uh, 5s2 rather 5s2 as its outermost what and in its outermost shell right like the last after writing the electronic configuration the last uh, electron is what is in the 5s was uh it's in the fifth it's in the fifth principal quantum number right 5s2 what does it tell you it tells us what that the 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 the, the largest principal quantum number is in the shell shell o what shell is this what shell correspond to Principal quantum number five. Oh, 
this is one this is two this is three this is four this is five so it belongs to the what to the whole shell right yes that will, it will give the information of the shell to which the outermost electron belongs to so if the outermost electron is 5s2 right it means that what is in the it is in the whole shell another thing i can tell you is the period to which what the element of which we are writing the electronic configuration belongs to so this means that what this element now for example belongs to the what to period five to period five period five of the periodic table period five of the periodic table so that is all that there is about the principal quantum number before we review please do not forget to like this video when you like this video other students like you get to find our video if you subscribe you get notification on your phone that's what we just released a new video it does not mean you are paying it's a subscription to this channel is free so click on the rest of subscribe button below this video and of course you'll get notified when we release the next video so let's go over what we just talked about we said that the principal quantum number is represented with the letter what n and it gives the information of the shell to which what and what element what belongs and then we're able to show that what that the k l m n and o shell correspond to principal quantum number one two three four and five respectively right and then we say it was also useful in writing what spdf electronic configuration which we did here with the sodium atom we saw what that was in the uh the the atomos was shell eh? that is what uh, shell eh, m right it has what one electron right of course i was told you that what that the uh principal quantum number gives information of the shell uh, the largest principal quantum number gives information of the shell that the outermost electron belongs to it gives the information of the shell that the outermost electrons outermost electron what belong what to so we have seen those two and the next class we are going to be looking at the azimuthal or the subsidiary what quantum number do not forget to what to join us for that class my name remains Ogula and i'll see you in the next class